Hello friends, welcome back to another vlog. I have a Shein kids haul for today. I got a bunch of stuff for the kids. Um, just some like random stuff, some back to school stuff. And it's all in the packages. So I'll have to unwrap everything. Um, but this is for my second oldest for like first day of school. They do like house houses, kind of like Harry Potter houses at their school, but they just use colors. So she's in yellow houses. So I got her this one. It looks kind of small. It's a size seven, but it looks kind of short and wide. I hope it fits her. I have a feeling this is not going to fit her. So this might be going to the third oldest, like right away. I got my son two shirts and a pair of pants because I'm going to give him one of the shirts for his birthday and one will be like new school outfit. But here's one of the shirts that I got him, this tie dye with this like skull, like rock on sign. I thought that was kind of cool. I got him these like khaki, they're not really khaki, like brown joggers. Um, These are gonna be for his birthday. I thought these would be good for fishing because he's been fishing like all summer long and they have like cargo pants. This is perfect for holding a phone in. Um, okay, I think these are for my oldest daughter. Got her a big pack of socks and they're just colorful socks um, with different color hearts on them. These ones are plain black, plain white. Okay, some of them are plain, some of them have hearts. Um, for her. Okay, and then this is for baby number three because she's starting preschool. So here's like a first day of school outfit. Pre-K where the adventure begins. I thought that was really cute. And then my youngest can wear it next year. I mean, if it lasts a year, but like, let's see how close these are because like this is a five and this is a seven I mean I guess that does seem like a good size difference I just this looks so short to me I don't know okay this is a second shirt for my oldest I think this is going to be his birthday shirt I axolotl questions because he loves axolotls and then I think this one yeah this one's also a size seven for my second oldest I just thought it was really cute. Are these supposed to be crop tops? Is that why they're like this? Oh my goodness. No. Okay. I don't think this is a crop top. I think it's just like a short shirt, but this one looks like it could potentially be a crop top, which was not my intention. But we have this back with like a fun happy face and there's a fun happy face on the front, all pink. Um, and then I got these socks for the preschooler. This is probably gets so confusing when I'm talking about my kids because I don't usually use their names, but like I have four kids. It's for kid number three and these socks are all the same. They just have smiley faces in different colors and they're kind of like a little above your ankle. Okay, and then I got a ton of hair accessories. I feel like every couple years I just need to revamp their bow collection because the bows get like untangled or ruined. So first off, I got this, which I feel like these are the new trendier style of bows. Um, so we have these and like pretty much any color you can imagine. They don't have duplicates, so for pigtails, they'll have to do like different colors, but it's no big deal, but every color imaginable. And then I got these silky ones, which I already have some like this that I use for me, but I don't want to put them with my daughter's bows because I don't want my girls to ruin them. Because like I said, they just go through bows so quickly. But again, these are kind of like a trendier style right now with the little danglies coming down but they're clips, so you don't have to tie a ribbon in your hair, but it, it looks more like you tied a ribbon in your, in your hair. Um, so we've got these in a bunch of different colors as well, but not a lot of options for pigtails. They'll have to use different colors for pigtails. And I do like getting the packs, like in the past, I've gotten the packs that have two of each color. And then I got this, 
which is like a bunch of random hair clips. So it looks like there's three packs in here. So we've got one with a bunch of pink hair clips and I'll just go through and show y'all a couple of them. These are so fun. So just a regular pink barrette, but then like some flowers, rainbows. I'll just show you all of them. Watermelon, cloud, candy, and starfish. This one's like a little knitted flower. Another like just crisscross and another candy. Another candy and flowers and a watermelon and a lollipop. And then this one's like purples. These are so much fun. Okay, so we have like a, I think it's supposed to be like a purple raspberry, some little like hearts, flowers, a couple different like purple crisscross ones in different sizes, grapes, purple barrette and more flowers, rainbow, um, a butterfly with a little pearl, watermelon, and a mermaid tail, and then a cow and an eggplant. And then this one looks like rainbow, but they are very, there's a lot of yellow in here. So we've got like a purple pack, a pink pack, and like a rainbow pack. Another like knitted flower, I think this one might be my favorite of the whole pack. Um, another little rainbow, some little, little flower, knitted flower barrettes, another little cloud, another plain barrette, um, candy and more flowers, just different colors of ones I've shown before, another candy, another plain barrette, and then like this um, solid one, this little knitted flower on a clip. This one looks like it could come undone really easy, but it's really cute. Another rainbow and some lemons. So. Lots of fun hair accessories for the school year. I think we're good on hair accessories for the school year. We're actually gonna do backpack shopping for the girls tomorrow. My son's on a boys fishing trip right now. Um, so when he gets back, I'll do like backpack shopping for him. But the girls and I are gonna do backpacks and lunch boxes tomorrow, go shopping for those. Um, but that is it for now. Okay friends, I just made these like energy bites. They're kind of like no bake cookies. Um, it's oatmeal, peanut butter, honey, chocolate chips and then i added oh some people add i think most people add shredded coconut i didn't do that um you could also do like nuts or really anything you want and then i added some vanilla protein powder i popped them in the freezer just because i didn't want to like wait for them to set i think normally you'd put them in the fridge but i actually kind of like the texture they are um it makes it like a little bit more chewy anyways these are going to be for like when i have like a sweet tooth or um when I'm about to take my like pre-workout because I cannot take pre-workout on an empty stomach or it makes me really sick. So I'll eat a couple of these and hopefully that will be enough um, so that I don't get sick. But that is what I just got done making. Hello friends. I just wanted to quickly share how sometimes I will combine like leftovers and do meal prep out of them. So I had like one chicken breast leftover from a dinner last week. So cut it into thirds. We had some corn that's actually left over from KFC, so also divided that between three. And then we had a random sweet potato in the pantry, so also just roasted that real quick. And now we have chicken, corn, and sweet potato meal prep. I'm um, just three, but um, that's just a really quick example of, you know, just sometimes your meal prep can be super easy. Just literally taking what you have, taking leftovers, and throwing them together. Okay, and then we already started digging into this, but, but like healthy high protein dinner, we have chickpea pasta. This is 20 grams of protein per serving. And then we have pasta sauce and I did um, ground beef that's 90% lean and some kielbasa sausage. So even more protein. Um, so like just a high, high protein dinner option. I forgot to mention, we've also been making smoothies lately. So here's a clip of one of those just already frozen strawberries and bananas, some protein powder, almond milk, honey, and that is it. This one was super thick, so we kept it in bowls, but really, really yummy. Hello, friends. I wanted to quickly share our little activity for today. I got this idea off TikTok, but you take tape. I just happened to have this painter's tape um, at home already, and you put it on your wrist, like sticky side outward, and then um, you go for like a little walk and pick up flowers and leaves and things along the way and make a little flower bracelet. So I took the kids to the park earlier and that's what we did. And it was really fun. They loved it. We'll definitely be doing it again before the summer is out. Um, it's just like one of those like super simple ideas too. Like it doesn't take a whole lot of effort and the kids loved it. So wanted to share that really quick. 
We also went to the splash pad again yesterday. It's becoming like a weekly thing. At least one day a week we've been going to the splash pad. It's one of those like things that's just, it's easy, it's free, keeps the kids cool on like these really hot Texas days. And um, yeah, that's what we've been up to. We also went on an evening gas station run and the kids all got to pick an ice cream from the freezer. This one was my pick and that is how we ended our day. Good morning friends, here's today's outfit of the day. I'm wearing this flowy purple dress, I'll show you more in a second. Normal necklaces, simple earrings, um, this great big bow. There's the bow. Here's a better view of the dress, just kind of like this layered dress with some flowy sleeves. Here's the shoes. Knock off Birkenstocks, but they have some purple in them, so they also match the dress. And then I'm going to wear this like knockoff Lululemon bag and it matches the bow and then just a gray cardigan um because I get so cold and that is today's outfit. Hello friends so I just did like a review and, and unboxing of this earring stack for TikTok shop um it comes with like three um separate earrings and I just stacked it the same way the model does but if you want to see the full review it's up on my TikTok but how cute is that? I also have up here pierced. I don't wear, I have like two in each side. Um, I don't wear earrings there very often because it does hurt when I sleep on them. And then it's just a hassle to put them in every morning, take them out every night. So I only really wear them on special occasions, um, but maybe I'll put some in later just to see how it all looks together. Cause I really, um, I love this stack and I think it would look so cute with like just two little studs up here, you know? Anyways, that's going to be it for today's vlog. Also, this is a pimple. I saw this trick on TikTok a while ago where if you have a pimple, take a little bit of um, like either brown eyeliner or I used um, just my eyebrow pencil and cover your pimple with it and it'll look more like a beauty mark. I'm not sure if I'm fooling anybody though because to me it looks very fake, but uh. I don't know. I, it, I'd rather have that than a big red pimple on my face, I think. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's vlog. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, friends. Mm -hmm.